Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Schwartz. I want to quickly introduce you to the Endless Justice SecureBook 5.0. Um, to start with, I'm going to take you through the SecureBook hardware. So the SecureBook is an 11.6 inch laptop. It weighs about 2.2 pounds, and it is custom built for our deployments and corrections here. And so you'll notice, obviously, in the very beginning, it's um, semi-transparent, and that allows us to you know, quickly have security staff check and make sure that the battery has not gone missing. Um, that the hard drive is still intact and the, the motherboard is still here. So these are the three major pieces of the device and it also allows you to quickly see that no one is hiding any goods between uh, the casing and the screen or underneath any of the keys as some of the issues we had seen um, with previous laptop deployments. Some of the other features of the device is that you'll notice is that the, not only are the keys clear, but underneath the space bar, the shift key and the enter key, we have removed all of the metal, um, which we had seen in some deployments be um, weaponized. And so we've removed any metal inside the device. The uh, device itself has an SSD, and it's a two and a half inch form factor, which allows us to increase the storage size tremendously if we're doing offline work. Um, and it's also because it's an SSD, it's gonna have a very long battery life, um, higher speed, and no metal inside, whereas some regular uh, hard drives do have some metal and glass pieces inside that you don't wanna deal with. The other thing you'll notice is that on this side, and on this side, there are no connectivity ports. So all we have here is a fingerprint reader and a cable lock. And on the other side, all we have here is a power jack and a headphone jack. And so what this means is that even if someone were to smuggle in a USB drive or a flash drive or you know, a micro SD card or anything like that, um, they're not gonna be able to get any content on or off of this particular device the way it sits right now. So if this is going back to a living unit, you know, it's great for working on the content that's on the device itself. You can sync this offline with you know, Canvas or one of your learning management systems, or you can use all of the great content that we include in the Endless Justice operating system. Now, in order to get content on and off of the device, we do um, pair this with an external docking station. So these docking stations would be kept in a classroom or a library or just in the hands of administrators and staff. And the docking station connects to that mechanical docking bay on the back of the device and it'll give you access to USB ports, HDMI, and Ethernet. And you can also get these with Wi-Fi inside. And so the joy of this now is that when you come into the classroom, you can dock, you can submit assignments, you can download new content, or you can use it just like you would a normal device. Um, and this also has the cable lock here, so you can pin it down. So now that we've gone a little bit through the form of the secure book, we'll go on to the Endless Justice Operating System. Okay, so this is your Endless Justice operating system. It is based off of the Endless operating system, which is a free operating system. It's Linux-based, and it's available to anyone to go to the Endless um, website and download. This version, Endless Justice, has a few features that are specific to corrections, um, and it's $20. So it's a great value. It's also something when people leave the facility they can use. Some of the benefits are that it's a read-only operating system, which means it's not gonna get mucked up by some user or you know, virus laden or anything like that. There's very little that a user can do to this operating system um, to cause problems for it. It was designed for uh, developing world or novice users of the computer, has an interface very similar to like a cell phone these days, and has free versions of all of the great software that you might be expecting, like um, compatible versions of Office and budget and things like that. So the Endless Justice version uh, produced by World Possible Justice has the Rachel app. Now this isn't the full set of Rachel content, but is a lot of content available offline. So these are all copies of websites here. And this is great content for correctional settings. This includes Sailor Academy, which is a leading website for um, college courses. We've got nine college courses here. All of the materials to study for the courses is available offline which of course is you know, a necessity for this type of thing. It's stored directly on the hard drive of the device. And then you can test for credit through the Sailor Academy. So if you have a GED testing center or something similar like that, you can use these Sailor resources totally offline on the device. Palouse Mindfulness is a donated set of content which teaches mindfulness. Um, it's an eight week course that you go through and you can, you know, it's self-paced, you don't have to do it in eight weeks. All, again, all of the resources are here in the Rachel app. We also have some entertainment type stuff, TED Talks, there's Wikipedia for schools, and then there's some additional wonderful content that's been donated to OER2Go. 
which allows us to make offline copies of things like Algebra to Grow. And this is really, um, it's produced by Saddleback College, but it's got a bunch of great videos and exercises and things that you can do to help your students learn algebra. Um, some of the other textbooks here, in case you want free copies of textbooks, if you're doing college inside, or if people want to go ahead and read on their own, we have hundreds of textbooks and um, reading material books, which are, again, freely available on the device. You know, no need to get on the internet or anything like that. These are copies of great books. And it continues, one of our favorite resources, GCF Learn Free. This is a great reentry resource. It teaches all sorts of wonderful um, life skills. You know, this is not just computer skills, which you see here, but the Goodwill Community Foundation produces a lot of things about living in the online world, living in an offline world, essential skills around math, career planning, money basics. So you can go through and you can take the class totally offline about creating a budget, managing your credit, staying out of debt. You know, it's really a wonderful resource that they've donated to this project. We also have some um, availability to create these types of offline websites for particular deployments. The Oregon Youth Authority, they have some um, college courses. These are not uh, Sailor Academy, but Education Portal, which is now study.com. And these are test for credit type things. But it's also a great way for them to distribute their own resources, which is um, some work crew vignettes, things about what you would need for you know kitchen safety or fire handling and things. So it's a really flexible system in that regard. And again, some additional math resources and some textbooks. You know, all of these are available freely offline as part of the Endless Justice package. The um, rest of the operating system is actually a lot of applications that are produced by Endless, which creates these free applications. This one is a copy of Khan Academy Lite, which is an offline version of the Khan Academy. When going through this, you have all of the Khan Academy's um, videos as of a, maybe a year or two ago. But you can go through the sections, whether it's math, science, econ, and finance. And what you'll see is you, you've got a series of videos followed by a series of exercises to complete. So actually, you can create a login which would track your progress and would allow an administrator to view the progress of individuals. But um, in general, what you do is you, you're you know, given a video to watch. And then at the end of the video or a series of videos, you'll be given a set of exercises to do. And you can attempt the exercises and see if you get them right. And if you need a hint along the way, it'll give you some hints. And this goes all the way from you know basic math to it looks like integral calculus and things that I'm not even going to attempt to try. And in science, you've got your basics, biology, physics, chemistry, that sort of thing. So really a wonderful resource here on the system. Some of the other things that are on the system is there um, a set of free apps around the work package. You've got uh, the resume app, which will help you with a series of templates for users. If they want to create a resume before they leave, they can select a template that they like, and it'll open the free office package, which is called LibreOffice. And you will have the template ready there to be edited. And so a user can edit this in their free time. You can put it on a USB stick before they leave, and they can take the USB stick with it. Or you can connect the device to a docking station, put it on a network, and you know email it or collect documents that way. So there's a host of apps like that, including Resume, My Budget, Home Banking. Vroom is a relatively new app that's been produced that teaches some lifestyle and parenting skills. So these are some activities that someone can do with their child. You know, it's some uh, good ideas about how to engage your child when you come home and some, build some games around setting the table and things like that. So really a nice parenting package that we have. We do include a host of educational games, Solitaire, Chess, Connectogram, Hangram, Sudoku. You know, these will definitely help um, increase you know, some of your mindfulness and awareness as well as kind of relieving some stress. On the more exciting side, Endless continues to produce some more free coding applications. And what these are is you um, learn to hack the game itself. So you might be used to seeing like a frog jumper game, but here you can build your own code, which allows you to run the frog through the maze. And so it's really teaching kids or young adults um, kind of the introductions to coding and a lot of the coding concepts and will help you build out uh, a coding concept that way. So it's really, it's really an exciting kind of addition to the system and we keep getting more and more of these as the we endless operating system continues to grow. And then within the curiosity section, there's a whole host of other particular packages that again are all free, including graphing calculators and green curriculum, 
sanitation, math, you know, a really great uh, history section. And all of this material does not require the internet. So nothing I'm showing you now requires the internet in any way, shape, or form, which is really a benefit of the system. The system's also pretty flexible in that it allows you to share documents. So there's a bunch of features that you can see in the training videos that include sharing documents with all of the users of a system, sharing documents with just one or two users, how to create additional user accounts on the system, uh, how to collect all of the user's documents, a whole bunch of features that uh, we have found are really useful for correctional settings that we've built right into the Endless Justice operating system. So hopefully that every inter introduction gives you a flavor of what we've got going on here. And we've got some more videos you can go through in more in-depth training. Thank you.